And now, more with Social Women with your hosts, Pat Cruz, Amy Diaz, and Ronwin Dannenfelter. Our first guest of this hour is Hannah Suchi, model, owner, and director of The Beauty Within. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited because I love I love talking beauty and style and fashion. And uh, No other way to be. No, there isn't. <laughs> there really isn't. And, uh, you know, speaking of beauty and style, what, what does that mean to you and, and what should it mean to women? Beauty is about what you behold inside. So beauty is eating correctly. You really have to take care of yourself, taking the right vitamins, you know, the fish oils, and, you know, it's stuff that you have to do oh. for yourself. And that's and that's what's going to make your, your hair, your skin, yes. your nails yes. really beautiful. Exactly. At the end of the day, it's it really comes from within. Your your agency is called Beauty, the beauty the Within. Beauty within. It starts inside. It starts inside. Whatever you put in, obviously, comes out. So. Yes. You know, I just want to take that for one second because yeah. one of the great things one of the one of the biggest reasons I work with Pam on a regular basis you know Pam takes care of all the fashion shows I that I do I <laughs> but anyway, one of the greatest things that I love is that it is the beauty within mm -hmm. and I love being able to choose normal women mm -hmm. yes for the events that they're I very do. humble because you know what? Normal, beautiful women. Really, whether you're size 16, 12, 10, mm -hmm. 4, age, you know, 62, 42, mm -hmm. 22, it is about the beauty within. And they project that feeling because they look good, mm -hmm. they feel good. And no matter what age, no matter what size they are, mm -hmm. they're just fabulous, fabulous women to work with. And I think. And they're happy. And they're happy. Mm -hmm. And, and that encapsulates the beauty within. And I think th the biggest thing to me is that, you know, I'm a mom. I feel like I'm a, you know, size 22 a lot of the time. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know, it depends on how you feel about yourself. Whatever mm -hmm. size you are, you can look great and feel great. Yes. So I think a lot of the styles, too. And being a New England model, um, all sizes are here yeah. in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. um, it starts at, you know, size 2, 4, 6, 8. But in reality, our bridal market is oh, size yeah. 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14. That's which right. is wonderful when I came from New York to start modeling here, this agency, to hear that. Mm -hmm. So it was, and it gave a lot of hope to a lot of women out there that are, the, you know, the, the plus size, but just... I don't even consider that a plus size. To me, that's normal. normal size. <laughs> yeah. So the word is normal here. <laughs> well, and don't people want to see models like in clothes that they could wear rather yes. than just you they know, do. Yes. And you know, for for me, for the fashion shows that I have, I I want the woman on stage that the woman in the audience can this relate to. Of yes. That woman. So exactly. I don't really. I prefer not just. I mean, I love. Don't, I love all my size two and size four <laughs> models out there, you know, my regular I girls. <laughs> I love my regular girls. However, I like to put women on stage that the audience relates to because mm -hmm. th that's what it is all about. Not every and one in the audience is going to fit into a size two. Yeah, speaking of looks, there's <clears> so <throat> many looks out there and so many new designers and fashions. And, of yes. course, the fall and winter collections are, are now being are presented or they've been presented to us and now are, are hitting the stores. Mm -hmm. What What is the hottest yeah. look? Um, for all types of women, all sizes, regardless of size and age. I think a classic look mm -hmm. is always a look that a woman could wear, um, especially a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, you know, between your jackets and your um, your black dresses and your, you know, just your business attire. Um, am I allowed to say stores? <laughs> Yeah, go yeah. Ahead. right no, ahead. I, I can't. Hey, go right hopefully ahead. they're listening and they yeah. want to <laughs> like us. Like, I'm a big fan of Ann Taylor's. I think you just did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Ann Taylor's. Um, you know, there's... That's I like very classic. Chic. I like chic. I like savvy. I like... Um, I like a woman to go into a business company with basically, you know, things covered up, not hanging out, mm -hmm. but just a beautiful look. Mm -hmm. So, just... Just owning who you are is really the most important because the way you dress reflects who you are. Exactly. So. And, of course, we're all busy women. You mentioned, you know, business women yes. are the way that you go into it, work and how you dress. Um, but what is the fastest way to get those looks and really adapt them? 
I personally, I mean, I like to do what is called a cheat sheet. Mm-hmm. I'm always looking on the radio. I mean, the um, the talk shows, <laughs> the talk Except shows. Us, so yeah. we're on, we're here. <laughs> well, if you watch, you know, Channel Six, Channel Ten, you know, all the, the newscasters in New York and everything, and you just, you know, you look at what they're wearing, and it's all professionally done. So between and, and simplicity is the key. You know, it's just a simple earring and a simple neckline, and and just something that you're not overindulging in. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it's. A, I actually, you know, Google a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love to Google. Tell me Google. Google. I Google a lot. I Google. Google is always a lot. That's of fun. a good idea, though, to to actually watch watch quickie things and and take that look with you because and that's the New York style. style. And then you have your California channels. You know, you, you you know, a fashion starts in Europe, goes to California, comes to New York, and then lands here. Mm-hmm. So that's basically how it all begins. I, I've even taken it a step further than just Googling. I either wait till the end credits roll to mm-hmm. see if it says wardrobe provided by, or right. I wait 24 hours or 36 hours. That's a smart put, way of doing that. Yeah, I yes. put I, I set my, uh, an alarm to myself, check Google in such and such hours for Ann Curry had this on, color, yes. <laughs> and what it looks like. I think like. there's and, a point in your life then, that comes where you stop reading credits between movies and oh, fa- yes. the stylist. Oh, stylist. Stylists are key. But, very <laughs> much so. Can I just say... Locally, I know you say it starts in Europe, it goes to yes. California, New York, and then here. I have to say, we have some yes. of the best designers yes, we do. locally. Yes, we do. And um, I, I just, I have to and say, we work I with wasn't, them. and yes, we work with them. <laughs> and um, we just, Style Week was recent. Love and it. They're, Style Week's amazing. Love it, love it, love it. If any, you know, if you haven't been to that, it's a, it's a great thing to check out. They have the, be, the best designers that come out. and. Uh, Love watching the models come out on the runway oh, and, and seeing everything that they're wearing. And sometimes, I mean, some designers come out and like, I'll wear that, I'll wear that, I'll <laughs> yeah. wear that, I'll wear that. When you were talking about that before, I said, well, then I've got some very funky outfits. They're not revealing or anything like that, but they are splashed with color. They're from Spectrum India on Thayer Street. They're a little bit out there and artsy. Mm-hmm. Is there a general rule as to what you can wear um, to a professional setting? Or is it okay it to walk in? It depends. I feel it depends on, I mean, if you're meeting a CEO and you don't want to wear that orange jacket that you have in your closet I think I think everything is who you're going to meet that day I mean it's in it's everyday life so it all depends on your the meetings that you have and who who you're going to interact with I think it depends too on what the meeting is about yes. I mean yes in your situation it, it's you know I wouldn't feel uncomfortable going in in bright orange works really? for water fire well, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, that those are, you know, kind of my questions. Is, is fashion, it's a hard thing to try to, to figure out. It is. And, and you touched um, on, you know, what's appropriate and uh, with, with accessories. My rule of thumb, which I learned a very, very long time ago from another mm-hmm. beauty expert here in Rhode Island, um, is 11. 11 is the number. Mm-hmm. If you count on your body more than 11 items, you need to take something off. And so <laughs> earrings. I'm counting I'm right now. Yeah, no, I, 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 earrings, heard, I know yeah. where you got that yes. from. <laughs> e- earrings, yes. Earrings count as one. A necklace count as another. If you have yes. a, your dress, if it's a dress, it's one. If it's a blouse and, and pants, that's two. Yes. Shoes, it's one. So you count one, but there are certain things that count as two. So if you have a print <clears throat> top, that counts as two. Two, two accessories. Mm-hmm. If you have a big bow and in, 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 uh, like a pretty barrette or something on your head, that counts as two. If your shoes mm-hmm. are of mm-hmm. some sort of print or, or animal skin, which I hope you don't have, mm-hmm. um, that counts <laughs> as two. But things zebra. That, uh, <laughs> zebra. And, and I must say that I wear animal print all the time, and so does Pat. We, we love our animal print as long as it's, it's fake. Faux animal. Fake. <laughs> it's all fake. Um, but yes, those. so my rule mm-hmm. of thumb is 11. So right now, for those that on Ustream can see me, I have a dress, and I have a patent leather belt, but so that I'm not uh, that boring, I wore pretty stockings. And yes, my dress is a little shorter than what stockings are two points. My, my stockings say, are two, two points. <laughs> <laughs> no, these, are, these are two because they, they're, they're not fishnet, but they, they have a pattern on them. And I love, I'm watching myself on Ustream right now, and I totally just lifted my legs. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, so for me has always been the rule is 11. So if I, if I stand in front of my mirror before I walk out, if, even if I have a lot of makeup on, that counts mm. as two. 
Mm -hmm. um, because heavy makeup, you should probably tone down whatever it is that you're wearing. Um, So that's the way that I've always done it. And it's worked for me. So depending on the situation or what the event is, that's that's You don't want to overkill your look. That's really important. Simplicity. Simplicity is the key. So you just have to... As you look at the mirror, which some people don't look at a mirror when they leave the house. Make a double <laughs> check before you walk out the door. Check yourself check. before you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song. I know. <laughs> I know you deal with a lot of young women and models. And before yeah. we have to go um, pretty soon, what what word of advice? Like what, what is the, the biggest thing that you can tell um, just young women, actually, probably young women and, and women going wanting to go into the modeling a- like um, arena? What age? I would say, well, I don't know, any age. What, is there something that you would really like, that you really believe in that you'd like to get out there about fashion or about modeling? Well, I always think that in the modeling world, I think that you ha- need to give yourself at least a year to two years of experience before you go into the big world. Because, you know, we are a small market here. Mm-hmm. So if you go into the, Bos- the Boston or the New York world, I always say have at least a year and a half of experience under your belt so that you know what you're doing when you get to the larger. You know, you don't want to be like, you know... A, you want to be lost. You don't want to be lost. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I believe that, you know, all the charity events that you can do, we have a, a ton of those. Every experience, exposure that you can get out there, do as much as you can while you're still in high school. Mm-hmm. And when you're out of high school is where you start making the money. And that's when you go and contact Pam. Yes. How? Yes. yes. How so? Yeah. You contact me by The Beauty Within, which is 401-596-4323. And our website is www.thebeautywithin.com. Thank you so much.